Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I'm going to finally do my Cartwright sequin haul. Um, this haul has been way delayed, but um, I went ahead and I ordered some sequins while I am not near my craft room. I kind of went a little excessive and I almost spent 200 bucks, um, but luckily Ara had a code, which I will go ahead and link her down below. Um, that you can use so I was able to save $30 so I basically saved like 15 ish dollars because um, shipping was still about $12 so it's still a good deal I was able to get about a hundred packs of um, sequins however I did buy an $11.50 bag of sequins which I could have probably got four other ones but or, yeah probably about like seven other bags but it's okay it's whatever I'm not gonna trip about it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the um, sequence that I purchased and then I'm also gonna show you my um, uh, how I'm gonna organize them while I'm uh, away from home because I can't keep them in the box it's just ugly <laughs> um, so for those of you that have seen my recent videos I have shared like a um, ephemera tutorial on how I um, used my diamond painting drills um, and you guys probably saw them organized in here if you've seen that video so as you can see they're all moved out so on Amazon my order came in yesterday um, with my containers these definitely don't fit my sorry she is moving um, they definitely don't fit my sequins I was going to temporarily use these but they don't fit and so I luckily was able to get the drills to fit in here. And you get five of these, um, and each one holds 28. So it's a great deal. I'll have these linked down below um, as well. But um, yeah, so these have four compartments. So if you have like a small amount of stuff, or if you guys do decide to get some of these drills, this is a great organization system. Um, and then I still have these left because I still have to organize, like, my packs of these, which actually have way more because I tried to put this pink one in and I still have all of this that didn't fit in one little slot, so, um, I gotta figure that out. But, I also got a Harbor Freight, um, order that came in today because that's what I normally store my sequins in are in the storage box systems from Harbor Freight so um, that's what I've been waiting for before I recorded this um, so this um, these are the storage boxes <laughs> um, a lot of people um, youtuber crafter people they use these so they're totally worth it because it's only five bucks for these and they come with 25 and again I almost I bought about a hundred packs so this is gonna hold exactly enough however these ones I tested it out you can buy this on eBay or on the Cartwright um, website but I bought this prior to ordering my sequins um, these flat three millimeter sequins actually fit in here so I'm gonna keep some of my flat sequins in here I don't know what else I'm gonna keep in here because there's so many um, I'm gonna have to figure that out when I get back home but I definitely am gonna hold my flat sequins in here just because I don't want to waste these larger containers because I have way more sequins that need to be stored at home so anyway thought I'd go ahead and talk to you guys about the storage systems so um, I'm going to share with you guys all the packs of the sequins I am going to show you the colors and then at the end I'm going to like speed up a video of me like putting the sequins into the containers so that you guys can see how it looks at the end in case for those of you new crafters or those that need organizing system um, for them you guys can see how it looks and then if I'm breathing hard sorry <laughs> um, just sometimes have a hard time breathing okay sorry so 
um, yeah, like I said, um, uh, I think I was saying that I just, I'm having a harder time breathing, so, um, sorry if I lose my breath, but, um, here are the sequins. I'm going to set them aside, but here is their card. And their website does have two C's, so if you look up Cartwright, you're not going to get to the website. It is, um, Cartwright with two C's. And, um, so let me, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started here, so first thing I got was this light lemon yellow. I'm going to bring you in closer. And these are the flat opaque sequins. Um, I only got one of these because I wasn't sure how bright they were going to be and they are pretty bright. So, um, And I saw that Ara and um, Tony had also put out Cartwright hauls out after I already purchased these. So I was kind of sad because <laughs> I kind of wanted to see how the colors looked in person. So definitely do your research. Um, there's a lot of hauls out there just so you can see how the sequins look in person. Um, this one is a lemon yellow color. This one I actually really like because I like that goldish kind of like dark mustardy yellow. And these are like uh, slightly cupped sequins. It's a four millimeter. This is the lemon yellow three millimeter flat. These are satin. Golden yellow is like an orange. And these are iridescent, so it has like an iridescence to it. These are three millimeter flat. This one I opened because I was trying to see if they would fit in that organizer where I have the flat ones, and they don't. But these are the uh, maize yellow four, mil four millimeter flat satin. Um, sequins and then the ones that I have in that container are the three millimeter flat sequins. Um, I have I got the pale coral three millimeter full cup opaque. This is a light coral. So this is the pale and this is the light. This is like more of like a light peach, and this one is a peachy color. This is more of a peachy. This is like a salmon. And these are three millimeter full cup. This is the cashmere. I kind of wish I got more of these. Again, I didn't know how they looked in real life, but these are really pretty. I do recommend these ones. These are the four millimeter slightly cupped. And these are the opalescent. Opalescent is different from the um, iridescent. Uh, opalescent is just way prettier, in my opinion. Um, this is the light coral, four millimeters, slightly cupped. Light coral, three millimeter, flat opaque. Papaya, and these are the two millimeter. Look how small these are. Like these are the three, and this is the two. So tiny. Didn't realize how small these were, but yeah, that's the papaya color. This is flesh pink, three millimeter fully cupped. These are iridescent, they're like clear. Pale peach, three millimeter flat satin. Two millimeter light coral. These are flat, opaque. These also have iridescence to it. Light coral, three millimeter fully cupped. This is melon in the two millimeter. And this one is a little different from the papaya one. You can see, this one's more pink, this one's more orange. And this is a two millimeter flat. Pale peach, three millimeter full. These are the opaque. Pale coral, four millimeter, slightly cupped. And my camera's kind of showing them 
a little wider, but they are a little darker than that. Flesh pink, these I've shown, but these are the eight millimeters. This, this is a three millimeter. So you guys can see the difference in size. I didn't order too many of the larger sizes. Um, pale peach, these are the satin pale peach. These are really pretty. Um, they're the flat uh, four millimeter. And this is just the peach color. This is the slightly cupped four millimeter iridescent. These ones are the peach metallic. This is a 10 millimeter slightly cupped. So compared to the eight, a bit bigger. Pale peach metallic in a 2.5 millimeter flat and a four millimeter slightly cupped. These are pretty. These are like rose gold. They have a rose gold and it looks more copper, but these ones are perfect. Glad I got those because when I saw them in person, definitely glad that I picked them up because I even got them in the confetti. I didn't realize how pretty these confetti sequins are, so I'm definitely going to try to stock up on different colors of those because I love these without the hole in the middle. But yeah, so that is the peaches. I like the orangey colors. Um, I also got this gold medium metallic heart. You get about 145 of them in there. Um, and then I got some blues. Kind of wish I got more of these, but I got the aquamarine in a three millimeter flat. I probably won't use this as much because it's not my kind of blue that I work with, but I know I have some collections that could probably work with it because it is um, a nice blue. And then I got light ocean blue green. It's really more of a blue. There's not really a greenish tint to it. But these are the three millimeter flat satin sequins. Satin means there's no gloss to it. it. Has like a satin look to it. This one is teal three millimeter flat opaque. And this one also has like a um, iridescence to it. And then these are my favorites. So what I did, um, I did print my order out through the website um, and then what I did was I checked off I made sure that you know um, I got the colors and then not only did I check it but um, not that I don't trust them but it's just because I had so many but I also put like using my Tombow markers I just marked if I put two lines that means that um, this is a color I really love if there's one line that means I love it but if I have to hold off on it then I will so I kind of did that to keep a track of the colors I did purchase and which ones I liked which ones I don't really need in my stash um, but yeah so these are the blues that I like am in love with I guess blues and purples this is a medium jade and there's a difference between the teal it's more of like a turquoise and this is a two millimeter flat. Um, this is the only one I got, I think, in this color. Um, and then I picked up the Maui color. This is the slightly cupped opalescent. This is a really pretty color. Love these. I also got the Maui and the opalescent confetti. Um, again, the opalescent is really pretty. You guys can see it's not really like the um, iridescent one. So pretty. And I'm from San Diego, so like, you know, the beaches and everything. I'm a beachy girl, so. Um, and then I also picked up Pale Aqua in the flat transparent 3mm. Really pretty. Super excited for this one. This is the Vanai. And I am loving this color. It's um, kind of like a mid green, not really. It's a lighter version of like the um, jade. 
but I got the opalescent and this is the one where I kind of wish that I got a bigger bag of this instead of the white <laughs> just because of how pretty it is. I even got the confetti so I'm super excited because this is the only one I got the confetti, this one and the Maui because again I didn't know how the confetti looked in person. That was cute. And then I also got the 8mm. So I'm glad I got a larger size of this one too. So this was definitely one that I definitely want to repurchase. And then I didn't really get purple. But I did find these ones. These are both opalescent. I got the iris. Look how pretty this color is. I'm not a huge purple fan. But when it comes to purple, this color is my favorite as well as this hydrangea. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but these are the eight millimeter and this again is opalescent. So the opalescence really adds to the sequins and they are just so pretty. You guys can kind of see it. So I got those two and those are the only purple ones I got. So the next one is pink. I got pale pink. This is the four millimeter slightly cupped medium pink and the four millimeter flat iridescent pale pink in the four millimeter flat iridescent pale pink in the three millimeter flat iridescent and then this color is super cute this baby pink fully cupped opaque three millimeter, this light pink, four millimeter, slightly cupped. These are the satin ones. I got just the pink, this is really pretty too. And I got them in the five millimeter flat, opaque. Got the blush in a eight millimeter flat. Uh, light pink in an 8mm flat. Um, blush in a 3mm fully cupped satin. Light pink in the 8mm slightly cupped satin. Light pink in the ten, um, 10 millimeter, and this is a satin, slightly cupped. A light pink in a 4 millimeter flat satin. This one is pretty. This is the peony, and I wish I got more, but these are opalescent. I think it's the opalescent that I'm loving. It's really adding to the color of the sequins, um, but this is the 4 millimeter slightly cupped, and these look way wider in on camera, but in person, it's really not that white. It's, it's pink. Um, and then... Got pale pink in the 8mm slightly cupped iridescent. Ballerina pink, this one's cute. Ballerina pink 4mm slightly cupped. Medium pink 4mm slightly cupped, this one's iridescent. Powder puff um, pink 10mm slightly cupped. These ones I love too, these are really pretty love these ones. It has like a purple shine to it. It's really pretty. Um, cotton candy. These ones too. I love cotton candy just in general, but um, the color is cute. It's a 8mm cupped. And these are opaque crystal. Super pretty. Love these. Taffy. These are ones that like if I need it, I'll get it again, but not a fave. Um... Ballerina pink in the 5mm slightly cupped crystal. This one's like the iris, and this one's really pretty too. Um, 
baby pink and the eight millimeter slightly cupped opaque. I got uh, some confetti. This is the ballerina pink. And I also got a mix. This is a princess confetti blend. Super cute. I love this one. I also got the Fairyland 6mm blend. These are cupped. And then I also grabbed an 8mm peony, slightly cupped. And these are opalescent, as well as the peony opalescent confetti. And then the last ones that I, I'm going to show you guys are the white ones. I'm just going to switch out my battery though because it is running out of battery. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to continue with the white colors. Um, so I got the white 5mm flat opaque. I ordered a lot of white. I didn't realize that. So now I have a lot in my stash. <laughs> um, the white opal opalescent confetti. This is really pretty. Love this one. Super cute. And I actually have to go through the whites because I wasn't sure. I actually didn't mark it. Um, I didn't start until I started doing like the other colors. But I'm glad I got the white opalescent stars. These are the 5mm. Let it snow. It's a blend. It's an 8mm. White opal 3mm fully cupped. White fully cupped opaque, three millimeter. Ivory and a six millimeter slightly cupped. This is the Moonlight. The Moonlight has this like shine to it. So the Moonlight ones are really pretty too. I'm glad I got those. So another Let It Snow blend. This is a six millimeter. This is a white slightly cupped opaque. White Moonlight in a 4mm slightly cupped opaque. White 3mm fully cupped satin. And I'm only saying these so that way in case you're writing down which colors you want, you guys know. These are 5mm blend of Ivory Tower. The blends have like transparent, opaque, and also like the iridescent. Um, white glossy, and these are the five millimeter flat. These are the white slightly cupped satin. Uh, white four millimeter flat opaque. White three millimeter flat satin. White three millimeter flat opaque. White 4mm flat satin. White glossy and a 5mm slightly cupped opaque. These are the white 3mm flat opalescent. Super pretty again. So definitely trust the opalescence <laughs> if you like that. Um, these are the white opal 4mm flat opalescent. The camera does no justice, but you guys can see the difference between it when it hits. Um, white glossy 6mm flat. White satin confetti. So these are like matte. Um, white 6mm slightly cupped crystal opaque and you can see the crystal has like a lot of shine like these are just the flat white so I got four more I got the white 10 millimeter slightly cupped opaque and these have iridescence to it I don't know if you guys can see oh yeah like that 
and then we got the white iridescent opaque confetti and then the white glossy opaque confetti so I don't know if you guys can see the difference just like a shine to the iridescent and then my big old bag of white moonlight I saw this on top and I was like, why do I have a big bag? Like, I wouldn't order a big bag of this. If anything, I would probably get the Lanai. But, um, yeah. So I have a big old bag of white moonlight 5mm flat opaque. And this is $11.50. You do get a lot for its price, though, because these are all inexpensive sequins. So I'm glad Cartwright exists because I am a huge fan of sequins. But yeah, definitely have a big bag now. So I we'll have to figure out where I'm going to store this. Um, but that is all the sequins. Okay, so I'm going to sit down now. Um, my back is hurting, but I am going to quickly organize these in the organizers. So what I'm going to do is like this. So I can have space. But I want to show you guys the organizer. So, you guys don't have to stick around for this, but I thought it'd be really fun to show. So, here's the packaging. Okay. So, these are how they look small containers and if you guys have seen my previous videos you have seen me bust this out and go through the sequins but um while i'm making a project but yeah these are how they look it's five dollars for one of these you get 25 of these and you even get this big old container to hold all your stuff in okay so the thing about this is um when you put them in here it kind of shifts around the ones at home I actually smooth these aside and I could fit three more in here and then when I get to the last bin sometimes you end up with like this whole section again if you've seen my previous videos you guys have seen that I put my Tuesday morning mixes in here the ones that come in the gray cans they fit perfectly in there so you definitely can do that because um, look I can even store this in there so I don't get bothered by that. I'd rather have it do that than for it to be shifting around like that. But again, it's personal preference. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up all the other ones and I'm gonna fast forward me pouring them in and then showing you guys how they all look in the organizers. All right, you guys, so I got everything set up here. Um, I have the containers all open. So I'm going to fast forward this probably like four times, eight times. I don't know, super fast. But again, I just want to show you guys me putting it in. I do like watching people put diamond, like the drills in packaging. Like people will have two hour videos of it. And that's just something I like to watch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and I have pulled aside my three millimeter ones because these actually fit in the container that you can buy off of Cartwright, which I got mine on Amazon, but yeah. So I have those set aside so I can put those in after. But I'm gonna go ahead and start filling these with sequins. You guys can watch me do that really quick.
All right, you guys, so it's about three days since I recorded my sequin haul, but I finished putting the sequins in, and Maui wants to come in. Anyway, um, so yeah, I finally finished putting the sequins in, and um, I, it didn't take me three days to do. It just took me one, but I had to pause the video and eat, and then I finished afterwards, but it's just been taking me a while to record. So, um... Hope my camera is straight and not crooked. But here's how I organize them. So, yeah, I think you guys watched me, if you guys stuck around, um, how they look. And you saw me pouring them in here. They look like this. And then you just take them out. Um, but like I said, I like to fill this and then put three on the side. And then um, you guys can see here. There were some, um, there's like an empty spot here because I put two rows of three on these two. And I just put the larger pack. And then my um, star sequence that I brought with me here. And I can do, close this. And I still have another box. It doesn't mean that I need to buy more because I've been shopping like crazy. Um, but at least I have some for when I do go back home to organize more sequins. And then these are the mini sequins. These are what took me forever. Um, I think I showed myself doing like two packages. Um, it was a pain in the butt because they're very staticky. So um, the smaller ones are super staticky if you're trying to get them in a container. I do suggest just putting them in the larger ones because putting them in here was just not easy. They were getting everywhere. I even had to, at one point, um, let's see. I had to just like make a mix because they were flying all over my desk and luckily the mix was pretty similar in color. Um, and so this is the mix of the sequins that were flying all over. Um, they were sticking to my hands. They were not, they were literally like going into the container and flying back out. <laughs> so I even tried using a dryer sheet, but it didn't work. So yeah, these are the tiny ones. These are the three millimeter and the two millimeter. So they will fit in here, even the three millimeter cupped um, sequins. So if you guys wanted to use this and you guys have a bunch of small ones, you definitely can fit those in here. And then just open it up. And the sequins are there. That's the cup sequins. And then these are the two millimeter flat sequins. The three millimeter, I think some of the three millimeters, they had to be put into the larger containers because there's actually more than what could fit in here. But yeah, these are the smaller ones. And then again, I color coordinated it. Um, here, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Um, I have a lot of containers now. Um, so I definitely will probably put like little trinkets and stuff. It doesn't really have to be sequins, but um, again, that would have to be when I get home. But that finishes my sequin haul. Um, I am going to have like a couple other hauls. I'm hoping I could just do one big one because I do have a couple big orders from scrapbook.com, Amazon, and I do have one from Walmart. And then I also have one from binders so hopefully all of those come in around the same time and then I'll record it and have it all out um, but that's it for today's video I'll have a share video out too of a recent project I worked on so keep an eye out for that um, I hope you guys have a great day whatever day it is you're watching this it's stay safe stay healthy and let's hope that this whole like virus thing gets taken care of at least gets better um, but yeah I will talk to you guys in my next video bye